Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. Dang, I'm. <laughs> Dude, you don't. Uh, it doesn't matter if I say Let's Play, it really doesn't. Yeah. I don't know why I feel the need to constantly acknowledge in these new episodes that I don't put Let's Play in the title of my videos, or whatever. Ugh. Yeah, I've been staying. I've been doing my best to stay hydrated lately. Anyways, this is Blah Blah Ocean, yeah. Um, so this, is, this isn't quite the level I was thinking of, but I'm actually not surprised, because I'm pretty sure it's actually the next one. In fact, actually, I think it's indicated by, like, when I see it from the... Whoa. I think I was on to... Okay, okay. Uh, it looks like you could actually jump on that guy while he was upside down there, but I guess not. Uh -huh. So anyways, um... Yeah, this episode's probably not going to be as exciting, as exci excitable as uh, the last couple have been, because I'm a little tired, it's like 12.35 a.m. at night, so... Yeah, I might be getting a little sleepy right now, but... Yeah. I've had a lot on my mind lately about this whole... You know, getting this apartment in June, actually. I've already signed the lease for it, so it's pretty much final. And I'm not... I have no regrets at all doing it, it's just that... Kind of nervous. I think the one thing I'm, I'm concerned about the most is budgeting the money that's left over after paying rent and bills. Because I determined how much money I have like after paying rent and bills. I'm not gonna say what it is, but I've just determined how much I will have, and I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna budget that into both eating, you know, like feeding, and you know having fluids, keep fluids in me, and using the rest to recreation, I suppose, or, some, or just to save up. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure that out, I suppose. It's because I'm doing it as early as I am, too. It's because, you know, I still got a few months, so this will be plenty of time to think about it. Anyways, we have a new transformation for Kirby. He's a dolphin. Now, if you press 1, he'll actually do this uh, drill-type move where he... It's basically, a, this, it's sort of an attack. You can do that to destroy enemies. Yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if he actually missed uh, some... Uh, treasures by now because oh yeah you can also yeah you can also bounce out of the water and if you use the boost the drill attack as you're doing it you'll you'll get a bo nice boost and get higher up in the air so very very helpful use it, use it to destroy these things too in case those things were causing you trouble earlier but yeah it's just uh i don't know why but i just never thought about that you know going to college and living in the dorm, I never thought that, or pretty much any, like, up until this year, I basically never would have thought about that, the whole budgeting money that's left over after rent and, uh, and bills, you know, to eat and whatnot. I feel like that's one of the hardest things, actually, is budgeting money that's left over. Obviously, I couldn't just spend willy-nilly, and I don't want to have, like, no money left over at all after I eat, so I still have to have make sure I leave some money left over for other things that might that I might need. Or just like, you know, spend just for recreation. But, yeah, I just don't know, man. I just don't know. Oh, you can actually go... There's some of these loop, loops that you can go through more, more than once. So I guess I'm playing Superman 64 as a dolphin, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be good. I'm trying to try my best to find all these treasures here if I can't make any promises, honestly. Come on. There we go. Use the boost to get through. Oh, shoot. Ah, shoot. Okay, well, at least we were able to destroy it almost instantly. If we recovery, yeah. Take that, you sunk. Things. Okay. Anyways. We're gonna jump through this hoop right here. And I see the CD up there. I want it. I want it! You can't stop me from getting it, I want it! Yeah, there we go, blah 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 ocean, this new music plays, blah 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 ocean! Ocean! Duh, ocean! Ah! He hasn't been decontaminated yet! Jacques, we clean him! We... I can't wait for Finding Dora, I'm so excited. Nothing to, nothing to remind me of that, like a, you know, like a water level in this game, like jeez, man. Easy to the star patch. What the hell, man? But yeah, it's coming out in June this year. I'm so excited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see that. 
Like, at a time, I think I'll be living in that, uh, temporary apartment that he's putting me in, like, during that time. Because, I don't know, it's like... I don't think I... Yeah, I haven't explained this yet, but even though my move, my official movement date is June 8th, I'm actually not going to be moving straight into the apartment that I... that I, that I uh, signed the lease for. Because... The person who's currently in that apartment is... Their lease doesn't end until, like, uh, later in June. So what's going to happen is that the landlord is putting me in, like, a, a one-bedroom temporarily during a f for a few weeks. So, like, I'm trying to figure out right now if uh, you, how utilities are going to work. If I'm going to have utilities while I'm in that one-bedroom, if, if I'm going to have to pay for them, whatnot. Like, I know I'm just paying the regular studio rent while I'm in there, but, like, uh, I'm just wondering how utilities will work. Maybe he's gonna pay for them or not? Because that'd be freaking awesome. I mean, it's all already awesome enough that he's giving me that space to, like during that time that um, that I'm in there. But I mean, like that I'm not in school because I'm gonna be kicked out of the dorms on June 10th. So I don't know, it's really complicated stuff. So much to get into in too little time. So yeah, we did terrible in this level. Like, geez, because of all the vlogging I did, we got okay. We got a silver ranking. And only the CD. Like, we missed all the treasures except for the CD, man. I mean, that was just terrible. This is what happens when I vlog. I miss obvious stuff. Like, God, I, I just I just feel bad for you guys. I mean, like, you watch me. You just sit there, your mod, you're probably screaming at me for to go to go for the treasures that, you know, really aren't that hard to, to you know, hard to get. And... Here I am, just walking right past, or swimming right past in the case of this world. Anyways, this little uh, hoop here will open up our next level. Let's see what it is. <laughs> that is so hilarious. So the blue whale attempts to swim to the hoop, and because of that, it's like, oh wait, I'm supposed to just stay here so Kirby can get up to this next level. And there it is, Secret Island. Not much of a secret considering it's not even one of the bonus levels for this world. It would have been very fitting if they made that the bonus, one of the bonus levels for this world, but I guess not. Unfortunately, that's not the case. But, at any rate, uh, oh, we still have some mints here. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to Secret Island, actually. In fact, that's pretty much what I would do regardless of, you know, any case. I mean, like, I would go back and get that, those two treasures I missed in. But again, I'm pretty sure I'd, I'm, the thing is, I don't want you guys to see me go through the same level, like, more than once per episode, that's the thing, so. Here we go, Secret Islands. Judging by the thumbnail, I can already remember this level quite well, actually. I remember it being kind of a pain in the butt, actually. Because, uh, just the way, just this whole thing, like, I don't know why, but maybe it's just the, uh... I'm pretty sure it's just the atmosphere I don't like about this level. Oh, we got Red Bee here, we got, like, an Angry Bee. Dang. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen any of these emails yet. But yeah, they uh, they literally outright just go for you, even though the yellow ones do too. But I don't know, the red ones are kind of different in some way. The music is pretty nice here, I will say that. I think it's the same as the. Uh, um, what's it called? The. Uh, I hope I didn't miss anything down there. Crap. Probably did, don't I look? Anyways. Uh, we need to go back here, actually. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of this in this level, this whole going in the background or to make something more accessible in the out, in the, uh, bomb. That's basically how it's going to work, or out in the fore foreground. That's basically the main gimmick of this level, and honestly, I really couldn't care for it that much, but let's just see if I can actually get the treasures this time. We'll just have to wait and see. But this one is, uh, not as obvious as you think it would. He just caught here, but no, it's not like that. Nope. We have to get down there somehow a different way. Now, how exactly that is, I have no idea, so we'll have to figure things out here. Well, let's see if we can do this. Can we do this? I mean, you have to be really creative here. Oh, I see. Wait, no, no, I don't. Actually, I don't see how you get in there. How do you exactly get in there? Huh. Figure that out, I suppose. Oh god. Oh, I guess I have to go back in up here. Oh, okay, fine. 
So yeah, we're coming up on the end of spring break here. My uh, spring core class are starting very soon, so hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully I'll you know get in the spirit of things. Oh, here we go. This is how you get there. I see. Okay. But oh wait, no, no, that's not how. You... Oh, but you still need to figure out it. Uh, do we need to find like some secret entrance or something, or do we need to open this thing up? I feel like that's how it is. Okay. So we need to go around. Oh, okay, it makes no it makes sense then. I see. So go back here, go around, unravel this, and that should allow us to get to treasure. Yep, just like that. Okay, so you raise the platform. Up. I see. So there we go, treasure rug. Feel like you inherited a fortune as you lie on this dazzling rug. Speaking of dazzle, eventually I'm gonna have to start saving it for a new capture card as well. That would be very nice, considering how outdated this thing is. Like even if it's even if it continues working for you know much longer, I still need to take into account that it's not gonna last forever, and I need to do it would be very helpful to get, you know, a a backup at least. Yeah, I really should. I have I do have one bookmarked on Amazon. I have one on wishlist, so it's not like I haven't thought about it recently, but still I really need to put some real consideration into this. Very much so. You know, especially considering I'm gonna have to I'm not gonna have as much money available anymore because pay bills and rent, so yeah, I'm going to have to budget things around that, too. So figure out how, how I can squeeze a, squeeze a new capture card in. I did recently pick, recently pick up two new games, but I don't think I'm going to be LPing them. It's uh, it's the two Epic Mickey games. I haven't played them yet, or... Yeah, I haven't gotten to experience them at all yet, but... I don't think I'm going to be let's playing them. I thought about it, but, you know, I'm just kind of kind of nervous about it, I suppose, because of the whole Disney thing. Because you know how stingy Disney is about copyright compared to other companies, so, uh, but I don't, I just don't think it's worth it. But, who knows, maybe I'll change my mind in the future. People are more worried about, you know, honestly, the, uh, Kingdom Hearts series and that. So, yeah, who knows. Oh, okay. What good does this do? We can destroy, uh, uh no, I need, I need the spear. No, I need the spear! Oh my goodness, it's here. Do that, and it covers this. An exclamation mark, which we already know is going to lead us to our next treasure. So, yeah, so far we're doing all right here. So far, so good. So you need to go around here to follow this exclamation mark. Don't quite... Oh yeah, I know exactly where it goes. This is pretty obvious anyways. Right here. Where are you expecting to go? Look at this. Hidden behind that was this. This creature that leads you... Leads, yeah, this ancient creature that leads you up to the treasure, which is the Stone Pole. The stone Pole so sports a few faces you may recognize that have actually nothing to do with the with theme of this level. What the heck? Yeah. Like, what does this have to do with the Secret Island themes? It's supposed to be themed about, like, pirates, right? Or something like that. Or not pirates, but, like, you know, just hidden fossils and whatnot. I don't know. Something along those lines. Not exactly what I would expect to see, you know, Kirby characters in. As far as, like, the theme of the treasure goes. Yeah. Alright, we got up to silver ranking, so we're already doing a lot better. In fact, actually, we, or we already found the... I mean, hell, we already found the CD in this level. Splash Beach. Yeah, this is the Splash Beach theme. As soon as it plays in Splash Beach. So that is the daytime theme for the first level of this world. The one we picked up in the actual level is the dark, is the, the nighttime version. So, yeah, I just, just want to make that distinction that I failed to make in the, you know, in the last episode when we did take on that level. Okay, so we need to, uh, shoot. I don't want to be careful going up here. I know there's something up here. I should really try. Oh, it's just a, just a spear. Well, it does look like there's something back there. Let's, let's check it out. Why not? Shoot. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh... Oh, I messed it up. Of course I would mess that up. Of course I would. We all know that if there's something like that, something, you know, it's even remotely complex, I'm going to mess it up. We all know that. I 
pretty sure it's something you guys should expect from me at this point now, to be honest. But I'm pretty sure that led to just a star patch, and so... Because we have all three treasures, right? Yeah. So, the only thing we need to worry about right, right now is just getting the gold patch, so... The gold medal, I mean. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot! It's, it's the stupid Waddle Dees that are coming down from the sky! Keep on, like, throwing me off and pushing me off the Waddle Dees I'm on! Okay. Just get the heck down there, man. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, those things will just home in on you. That's what's so evil about those bees. And please get the stupid crystal star back. Come on, dude! Ugh. I can never win today. I don't want to have to redo this level. I, I mean, like, it's not that bad. It hasn't been as bad as I thought it was going to be. But still, I don't want to have to redo it. I really don't. So we're going to have to rely prospect getting that last star patch, probably my luck. Here's some beads up here, I suppose. But god, there's always got to be something that's going to, you know, make me really pissed off. For me from getting the, you know, really good medal in this level. This, this, my friends, is what happens when you don't practice an LP, but practice the game before you LP it. This is what happens. This really is. Take my take my example here. Practice a game before you LP it. Don't try to do to play a game that you don't pra have practiced yet just because that you're so busy with schoolwork and oh my god, I'm not gonna make that, but I have to in order to get the gold. Come on, come on, come on. Don't you dare, don't you dare don't don't Why? 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 Uh, this is a great big ball of epic failure right here. Uh, we got the heart patch, so hopefully it means we'll be unlocking a level that I love more. A level that unlocks my heart. Let's find out. Oh man, my heart sure is hurting right now. Not 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 literally. If it was, I'd be honestly kind of worried. Aww. We just played Cupid and locked Deep Dive Deep. This level I know is the one that's really relaxing and I'm really looking forward to doing that next episode. So next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, we will take on the Deep Dive Deep. Deep dive deep. Bleh. Thanks for watching. Bye. And I am so sorry about my failure in this episode. I have no idea what's going on. Probably the fact that I'm tired is probably not helping. But then again, even though I, I was just failing, I was failing just as much in the other episode. So why does that even matter? I just need to practice is all. I need to get some practice in. Alright, later.